Hi, Mum. Callie. I know, I know. I ended the interview. I need to be more patient. Blah, blah, blah. You need to win the press over, my darling, not make an enemy of them. Yeah, yeah. Natalie Pinkham, Callie, of all people. I just get annoyed when people ask me about Dad, that's all. I know, but she's only doing her job, poor woman. I'm sure she understands that sometimes people don't like the questions. She's on your side, you do know that. This isn't about Natalie Pinkham, Mum. Well, it is and it isn't. Look, I will be nicer to her in the future. Happy now? I just hope you are. Great race today, darling. Thanks, Mum. I've got stuff to do, OK? I did not like Aiden. Not at all. Why not? I thought he was immature about what happened in Baku. I, like, I never really got over it. He was aggressive on track, and the paddock talks. He just wasn't happy at Connor Sport. Thought he was too good for the team. He just had a bit of an attitude problem. It's already complicated. And I've told you, they don't need to know. Well, it's your call, of course. But the dishonesty makes me uncomfortable. We'll talk about it later. Yes? Let's make this quick. Or maybe we could give Casper a bit of our time. This wasn't scheduled. What, are you too busy for us now? Just tell them, Casper. Andreo, please. Can we get started? Yeah, aiden has got a meeting at Mercedes he needs to get to. Enough! Enough! Okay? This, this is what we have to talk about. It has to stop, understand? If we can't pull together now... If we can't pull together, we are finished. Wait, what does that mean? Andreo? It means that if we don't finish fifth or higher, Butler Global will pull funding. And I don't think we'll find an investor to replace him. Not now. Wait, what? Casper? It's true. Well, then we're finished. Andrea? We're finished. So, yeah, Dad brought me onto the team and then immediately threatened to shut it down. Why would he do that? It's kind of his thing. Okay, Callie, I'm sure you've got questions, but we think we know what we're doing here. We've got information that says more rain's coming, and so, because we're the first ones to come and make this change, we can turn it into an advantage. So on your outlap, let's make it all count. Copy that.
to the car ahead. 2.2 seconds.
yet. Cully? Well, we said at the time that it might have been too soon, but in hindsight, Connor Sport really did make the right call. Mayer made the pit stop, changed to wet tyres ahead of everybody else. That was a real turning point of the race. Yeah, you've got to get these decisions right, and not everyone did today. It's great to see Connor Sport taking their chances like that. Wonderful race by Mayer. If they want to improve on last season, they've got to try and do something different. Well, they did that today, they timed it well. Mayer, well, she continues to impress. Welcome then to the podium, our top... Callie, great race. What do you mean, prove you're wrong? I was just trying to congratulate you, that's all. Prove you wrong about what exactly? I didn't mean anything by it. I was just saying well done. By reminding me how little you actually believe in me. Callie. You are a piece of work. But it was a great race. You said you'd keep him away from me. I'll talk to him. How is he getting involved on comm? Well, he didn't ask, he just did it. Yeah, he'll do whatever he wants until someone stops him. <gasps> I said I'll talk to him. That was a great result out there today. Let's forget about your father, okay? Yeah. Good. Looks like he's found someone else to talk to anyway. Hey, look, I've uh, put measures in place to clamp down on who can access Team Radio from now on. Thanks, I guess. Turns out your father talked Mark into it. Said something like, you're not going to keep me off Team Radio on my own team. <laughs> yeah, well, Mark can be a bit of a pushover at times. Yeah. But listen, you'll need to learn to tolerate your father. He's going to be at this press thing later. Yeah? Well, whatever happened to you, I'll do everything in my power to keep him away from you. Running a team means making compromises. <sighs> but this was your call, right? You decided this? Listen, I have a lot of people I'm trying to keep happy here. And some are more important than others, it seems. I'm really trying here, Kelly. Look, I, I have to go. Let let's talk later. got your text. Prove him wrong. He's got a nerve. He really gets to me, Mum. I know I shouldn't let him, but I can't bear it. Him and his little games. Call him out on it, Callie. Say something. I did. I spoke to him. And? He said he didn't mean anything by it. He said I did well today. Unbelievable. What else do you expect? An apology? I, I don't know what to do. You keep driving, Callie. That's all you can do right now. The rest is just fluff. If only it were that simple. Oh, fair point. Don't envy you, darling. Not one bit. I'll leave you be. Bye, Mum. Hey, boss, got a couple of minutes? <whistles> hey.
pain. Guess who's on his way in? A Davidoff? He just called the office. Arrange him a lunch, he says. He treats the office staff like his uh, uh, personal assistants. He shouldn't be a drain on our resources. Look, I'll, I'll talk to him. Can you let the garage staff know he'll be wandering around down there and make sure we have the usual room set up for him? Yeah, no problem. Roll out the red carpet. Davidoff's in town. Last I heard he was joining us in Singapore, but today he just shows up. Don't let him get to you like this. We'll handle him. <sighs> Remind me why I went into business with him. At least you have an F1 team. For now. Look, he wants us to succeed. Doesn't always feel like it, Cass. Huh. I'll see you in the meeting. Hmm. Yeah. Kelly. People are saying Dad's heading in? He is, yeah. I thought he wasn't around this weekend. So did we. Um, listen, I heard what happened in the garage. Yeah, um, look, uh, please don't worry about that. I uh, got a bit heated, but it's, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm ignoring it. It seems like you already dealt with it. Yeah, thanks, Cass. I mean, I think it's for the best. I, I don't need any more drama than I already have. Yeah. <laughs> See you in the meeting. See you there. Could you take a look at this, please? Everything else looks fine. It's just about that rear wing. I don't want to sacrifice any more downforce. It's okay, it's your call. Now, let's uh, check the weather again in an hour. Oi, oi! <laughs> Did you miss me? Hello, sis. Hi, bro. Jackson. Devon. How are you, Devon? I am excited. Very excited to be involved again. Now, you, you pretend I'm not here, you carry on, please. Involved? How? Oh, you know, just uh, a little bit of this, a little bit of... Uh... Involved? How? We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Huh. And what does Andreo say to that? He'll agree, Casper. It's fine. Were they pleased to see you? People are always pleased to see me. And what was your new role? Uh, I guess you might call me a liaison. Yeah, I just, I love to liaise. <laughs> Dad wanted me to talk to people, keep people's spirits up, give some friendly words of advice, that kind of thing. But, uh, it was tough. Yeah, Aiden still had that ego. Still thought he was too good for the team. Wouldn't listen to Casper's advice, that was a problem. And then Andreo... He was worried about the future of the team. He had Dad breathing down his neck. And Callie? Well, let's just say Callie wasn't really looking for my advice. The whole thing was a mess. I mean, honestly, I'd only been gone five minutes. Connor Sport teammates not exactly doing each other any favours this afternoon. For me, they're a little bit too close for comfort. What is Aiden playing at? Tell him to back off. Okay, Kelly, he knows. Clearly he doesn't know. <sighs> yeah, same old stuff. Jackson really wants to make a move out there, but Mayer, no chance. Not letting him pass. Towards the curve of Grande we go. He's going for it. It's really close. It's too close. There goes Mayer's front wing. Oh, Aiden Jackson, what happened there? This now seems like a running theme at Connor Sports. Yes, this race is critical for them. When are they going to just pull themselves together? Okay, box, please, Kelly. Let's get that wing replaced. This is a joke. 
joke. Box this lap, please. Box this lap. Yeah, copy.
Five seconds. OK, mate, this is the final lap of the race. Final lap. Race over, take care of the car on the way in. So Mayer managed to pull it back in the end, but if this continues, Connor Sport are in real danger of sabotaging their own chances of a decent finish this season. There is so much talent in that team, and yet they're their own worst enemy. The reason they're not making progress is each other. Ridiculous state of affairs. And it's clear that Jackson continues to be the aggressor. Is it personal, Natalie? Well, you know, it does seem that way from the outside looking in, but all I know is... Here come today's winners, the team at Red... Now, once again, another eventful race out there today for Connor Sport, Kelly. Is the team sabotaging its own chance of a decent finish this season? <laughs> Punditry is your job, Natalie. <laughs> no, I am not here to comment on those kind of narratives. I will stick to driving the car, thank you. Everyone is talking about Devon's return to Connor Sport today. So is it good to have him back around again? <laughs> I mean, never tell him I said this, but uh, I don't mind having him around. Um, he's the most infuriating person I've ever met, but he knows the sport as well as anyone, and it'll be good to have his input. Tell us, if you can, about this rumour circulating about a rift between you and your father, Davidoff. There's a lot of big personalities at Connor Sport, um, and there are going to be differences of opinion. Um, that's the case in every team, right? I have really strong views, and so does my father, but we both ultimately want Connor Sport to succeed. Now, obviously, myself excluded, you've developed a little bit of a reputation for being short with the press. Tell me, honestly, do you regret that in any way? Yeah, um, I guess. The media side of things has been difficult for me to adjust to, and I'm not used to the scrutiny, so I apologise if I've come across as anything less than entirely charming. Appreciate it. Thank you. Go on then, let's have it. Is that any way to answer the phone? Say your piece, Mother Dearest. Well, fine, if you want to be like that. I was just calling to say your media instincts are markedly improved. Gold star. Thanks, Mum. That's reassuring, I guess. You seem less hot-headed, more in control, more likeable, darling. It's good. <laughs> because no one liked me before, is that what you're saying? Well, no, you can just be a difficult person to warm to, that's all. Wow. OK, um, tell me what you really think, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'll let you go, darling. Ciao.